Well, we just got a torrential amount of, uh, of rain here. So this is, this is the, uh, the river <laughs> that runs past our house when, when we've got a lot of rain coming. Now, we're gonna go out and look over there because there's a, a big like farm field across. Like, oh, and like water was like everywhere. Just like, yeah. it was like this. Yep. There's a big farm field across the street and I think that the water has actually come up over the road and it's washing out our drive that we're putting in over there. So let's go and uh, check it out. Well, that's gonna be one wet pile of uh, compost there. Yeah. All right, so there's a, there's a car coming here. You can see the, uh, <laughs> the water that's come over the, the street there. This isn't good because this is our, our drive that we put in here and you can see the water gushing through the the little culvert right there but our ditch is so full of water it's just washing right over the right over our road here so they're gonna have some repair to do so here the field here you can see has washed over and basically that's our our ditch this is the culvert under the road where, where it comes through normally that's the uh the, the pipe that we put in that's got a nice flow there but yeah we're gonna have some work to do to fix this so it doesn't happen again all the water that comes from the east there normally comes through a culvert here and then it goes under the road and then it comes out the culvert there but i think it's uh it's definitely plugged up <laughs> well, of course, of course, you're gonna get wet going through that puddle. Yeah. Okay. Let's start heading back. Okay. And try not to get too soaked. Okay. <laughs> Even Fuzzy likes playing in the water, don't you, Fuzzy? Okay. Let's try not to get too crazy out here. Okay. Yeah. So this is another. Um, when we put these berms in, it created a low area here. So I'm gonna have to put in or dig some type of a ditch that goes through here and lets all that water go down that way. So here we are on the, the south end of the, the property here where we just put in the fruit trees and we're uh, redoing everything. You can see the river's running wild through here. It's like like the birds like it, huh? Okay, we've got another load of stone here. This stuff's going to be a little bit smaller. This is going to work as our border between the, uh, the new kids' garden and the rest of the gardens. And then this is where we're getting the stone from. They're local to Caledonia here. All right, here comes our shipment of plants from Walters Gardens. Uh, Walters Gardens grows all the plants for, or the perennials for proven winners. So a lot of these perennials are gonna be proven winners. And they are from the Walters Gardens Nurseries in Michigan. I think we've got about three pallet loads here and they sent these out so that we could plant them on our berms. So we're really excited to get these and, and get them planted. Started with the easier one first, but uh, now we're moving on to the big guys. What is Daddy doing? Look at these These are all those perennials we got in from Walter's Gardens. Huh. Yeah, cool, huh?
It's really cool to get this shipment in today from Walter's Gardens. We can't wait to unbox this and see everything that's on here. I'm already seeing so many goodies. Look how huge these plants were. I was not expecting this. <laughs> these are, all of these pots are, are really huge. They look actually like a two gallon pot. So this is actually really cool. And a lot of them are in blossom. Just absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to even just have fun placing these in the gardens. Awesome. Thank you so much to Walter's Gardens. Yep, we're gonna unpackage them so that way we can get them all watered and out of their little shipment containers. All right, we just wanted to give you a little update on what's going on. Got a lot of stone we got brought in here so far. Uh, three tons of this stone here. Three tons of the bigger stone over there. Yesterday, Casey moved over a ton of this stone and we'll show you in a minute where she put it. So as you know, we've been working on the kids garden area and we still got some stuff with the kids garden coop to finish up like the deck. But we got the underlayment, the ground barrier laid down because that's where we're going to be putting the deck. We're going to continue the weed barrier throughout here, finish the raised beds, and make a little pathway with some cool steps, either pavers or wood, coming down through here. So just talking about that stone that Casey moved yesterday, well here's she some of it, it here. She did, and you know, and the girls helped too. They brought stones over here. They helped me put the ground barrier down. The girls helped all day yesterday. This used to have that that ugly plastic edging that comes up and just, ugh, I hate that stuff. Yeah, and this looks so much better, doesn't it? Now, this is gonna get planted up. It's gonna get filled in with, uh, with some better garden mix soil. And then Casey's going to put some perennials in here and then seed some wildflowers as well. All right, now for the really cool part. This is my favorite. Mommy was thinking that she could put corn over there in the grass back there. And then we could put like some um, snack dragons all the way through here. And I thought it would look really pretty behind the corn. <laughs> so yesterday what we did is we put down two layers of this weed barrier here because this is an area that's traditionally been really weedy. Um, we did prior to this, we filled this all in with, with clay and then put topsoil on it. So hopefully that'll help with the weeds. But we've got two layers of this weed barrier here. And then Casey took and lined the perimeter. She kind of carved out a shape ahead of time on how she wanted the design to be. And then she put this first row of stone in and then this morning she had a thought, well, hey, what if we kind of doubled up the row and then planted inside here? And that's what Lana just explained with the corn and the snapdragons. We'll fill all this with the garden mix and plant it up real nice. This is part one of a two part project. So something we probably won't get to this year is gonna be our, our potting station over here. And veggie washing. And veggie washing station. So. That's kind of what this area is going to be. We're going to build a really cool back set with, with wood and we're going to put a little mini roof over it. Then we'll have the potting station in here so you can bring all your veggies that we pick out in the raised beds, bring them into here to wash. So the other thing that we're still going to do in this area is we're going to take the really big 12 inch stone that we got and that is going to line the whole back of this garden area. It's going to give us a nice barrier. So the area where we laid the ground barrier is going to get filled in with pea gravel, but then we're going to place stepping stones in and around these areas, around the fruit trees, kind of make little paths through here. She's just chilling. And of course, Fuzzy's always finding a really comfortable spot to be. Aww. <laughs> it's like a little tree hammock for... Yeah. Or like a little tree cat house. Um, <laughs> I love a tree cat house. Is that cozy, Fuzz? Cat house. She looks really. Um, um, can anybody <laughs> So, do you see that walk, that walk, um, maze? Yes, I do. That's where we're gonna store all the flowers. Do you like that? And then we're gonna fill it in with, and then we're gonna.
get the flowers in now. And then in this area here, we're going to be seeding wildflowers. Same with on the opposite side of the washing station area. We're going to put some tree coverage back here to cap everything off and just kind of enclose this space and make it feel nice and, and cozy and private back here. That way we don't have to see the road or other houses. Right. You can see this is our side plant, but lots of the things is everywhere because we're always coming in the science lab every morning to play in. And we also got really cool books. And we got these giant bugs, like the butterfly, the ant, the bee, the ladybug the fly, the grasshopper, and the dragonfly. Dragonflies are my favorite ones to see in the summer because like they have the shiny backs. And we also got really cute curtains and the curtains are like my favorites to see because I like when Sayla closes them out there and says, who's looking at my window? <laughs> <laughs> And yesterday, m Mommy kept finding bugs and kept showing us, and this is like a mag a fun class, and and then so you like put it over something, and then you like... You open it first, right? You open it, and then you catch it, just like that, and then you look at it, and it's really big then. What did I find yesterday that was huge in there, and it filled the whole thing? A frog. And she found a baby bee. Yeah. I like how I love all these big bugs in here. Like, I like the um, butterfly more because it's pretty. Is that your favorite? Yeah. Do you and like to? Uh, the ladybug's my like favorite too. And the, and Do you like to catch sweet. bugs and bring them in here and look at them in your magnet yeah. and your microscope? Yep. Sure. Oh, so yesterday cool uh, we got this really cute little bird's nest house. Yeah, and we're gonna mount that outside of your little sign shed here, the kid coop. Yeah, it looks like a house. Yep, a little birdie house, huh? Today I'm also planting more beds. I'm working on this one right now, and I'm, I'm feeling a little creative. So last year I grew the corn with pickles around them. The corn was able to kind of, you know, protect some of that foliage and I always found the most pickles around that corn. So we're gonna kind of do the same thing this year but I got just a little bit more creative with it and let me just kind of show you what that is. So I went ahead and drew a flower in the soil in this bed here. So where the stem and the leaves are, just real basic, I did some ornamental corn, some red stalker, and then over here then I did some sunflowers. So that way from a drone shot, I'm hoping that you can actually see, you know, it looking almost like a flower. I don't know, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> Just something unique. And then in between these areas in here is where we're gonna do all like pickles, well cucumbers, but our pickling pickles 